I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of mad and sad all at the same time. I mean, how how dare I, I don't know. I mean, I know this shit is bigger than me. It's bigger than all of us. It's bigger than YouTube. I mean, but since I have a forum to display my disgust, I am. Uh, you know, this is what... And, and then on the flip side of that, I ended up on a couple of channels where uh, it was... Uh, black girls and white guys, you know, um, most of them were married. I mean, some of them were the, the guys trying to do their hair. Uh, one girl had, um, had dreads and the, and the white guy was helping her do her dreads. I mean, I mean, come on, whether you like interracial stuff or not, I mean, the shit was cute. I mean, how many brothers, you know, would sit back and fucking twist your dreads up unless he had dreads and I mean, come on, you know. And then another girl was saying how I guess her her husband is um is in the military he's over in Iraq, and so the first video I watched was like a tribute she sent to him, you know, uh, you know, um, and I guess she just posted it here so he could see it, um, you know, because she was missing him, and then she put another one on there about how you know look this white boy is fine I'm sorry look if you fine you fine <laughs> right. <laughs> And she, so she made a video about, you know, uh, her, my husband is too hot. And she was also telling a story about how he actually said it took him four hours, but she had a weave in and he actually helped her sew her tracks in. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have not heard a story of a sister talking about her black man helping her with her hair. Now he might pay to go get it done. True enough. He might pay to do that. But I'm sorry. I, I, only time a man want to put his hands in your head is when he want to grab on it. Wow, man. But yet, of course, you know, they got a lot of hate. Um, some, some, not all, but some hateful comments, you know, about, you know, about their relationship. But, but here's my point. On the one hand, you know, we're trying to have some self-love here based on the history. Especially as it concerns our hair since that's really what my channel's about and then you see interracial couples which is really what we say we want we want to be able to love one another I guess we just want to do it separately don't really understand that one but then those who say love separately go get weaves and braids and perm their hair and talk about how bad their own features are. But then buy things like skin lightening cream. So which is it? Do we go natural? Only date other black men? And don't do any embellishments outside of maybe some makeup or, you know, just as long as you don't change your who your structure. And then do you turn out and hate on the black girl who dates the white guy that obviously could give a shit about her skin color which would make him the ultimate non-racist I mean look I can testify to why black women date white men haven't done it in over a decade actually going on 12 years but I do 
uh, or I'm sorry, uh, 11 years, but I do understand it because of stuff like doing your hair, being married, <laughs> stuff that is extremely difficult to come by in a black on black relationship. You know, you want it, but you want it right. Should you have to sacrifice all the goodness about a relationship just to make sure he looks like you? I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love for my, you know, Nubian king or whatever to, to you know, walk through my door and, and, and truly be that man. But come on. We all know. Now, I'm not saying all black men are like this, but look, even some of y'all black men that might be watching this know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's twisted. You don't want us. You don't want us natural. You don't want us with weaves. You mad if you see us with white dudes or other. But then when you have us, you want to fuck around on us and do all this other shit to us completely disrespect but then you want to go to the barbershop talking about how white people are doing this and that to the black community got babies all over the motherfucking place you know everything's good with chick till she gets pregnant then she gets crazy yeah Man, I, I'm 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 a little twisted. You know, I, I would love to have all the good things about a relationship and about us as people, and find that in a relationship. But the truth of the matter is, a lot. Of black men, I'm not. I mean, I, I guess I can't say most. Or, I mean, I, I if I talk from my own experience, I have to say all. Oh, I've never had a relationship with a black man that didn't have that bullshit attached to it. Never. Never. And no, they weren't all thugs and uneducated. Uh, one motherfucker had kind of one, two master's degrees in education mind you and has the nerve to be talking about how he teaches middle school kids because he wants them to understand an in inner city uh, middle school children because they they need the most help because they're at that critical stage they need to know who they are so they don't fall into the traps and the da 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 blah 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 but check his personal life You know, I'm twisted. No, I don't mean I'm going to go out and perm my hair or anything like that. But how can we... Okay, how do I say this? How can we... Exp I mean, I know we're fighting a lot of history here. And I know we're fighting a lot of things that tell us we're not good enough or, or whatever but you know what it sure don't fucking help when half of who we are that Y chromosome wants to act like an asshole can't be a man always just got his hand motherfucking out but then walk around the street grabbing his nuts like he's doing something so it's no wonder that we fall into traps of manipulating our parents how could we not 